20 year old is going to be my future husband but tell him told me mid over that i can't hit you i mean <laughs> you're bowling really well as you can see i'm very happy in this scenario because we had decided to get married i said yes i'm playing the ipl where did that boy go You've built such an illustrious career at the Tata IPL with the Mumbai Indians. Um, so decorated and such great spells to your name from the last 10 or 11 years. And we want you to take a look and walk years, us yes. through um, what's happening and just talk about some of the memories associated with that day and that match. All yes, right? Yes, of course. So we're starting from the start. Okay. Let's take a look <laughs> at this. The auction. What I love about this clip is going to come very soon. Thoda aage this, kar sakte hai. this boy, this 20 year old is going to be my future husband. But uh, where were you when the auction happened? Where were you watching this from? First of all, I don't rem I don't like to see this picture quite <laughs> a lot. He is but a beautiful this boy. is a 19 year old kid. But that's okay. I was at home yes. and th this was the first time uncapped players were being auctioned. Right. So I was sitting and watching mm -hmm. and as soon as my name came up, I did not expect this price. Uh, so yeah, well, uh, I had put a base price of 20. Yeah. And yeah, as soon as, uh, you know, one team just put the paddle up, yeah. I said, yes, I'm playing the IPL. That's all I need to see. But they didn't stop. It went on for a while. So then I was really surprised. And then, yeah. then yeah, the amount that I got, I was very happy with it. At that time, making, uh, you know, trying to make a living in cricket and just starting. So this really helped. And, you know, then it gives you the freedom to just uh, go after your passion and play with freedom and financial aspects will be taken care of. And a lot of celebration happened. Yeah, this is your first match for the Mumbai Indians in the IPL. Correct. Tell me about why you don't celebrate like that anymore. Where did that boy go? Yeah, that boy is older and now that boy is Look a father that. and that Look boy that. is mature. But I don't know why and how all of this came out. <laughs> so, yes, but maybe relief and excitement hmm. at that time. But fond memories and I remember that day because that was the first time I had played in front of a crowd and all of this felt like a dream but yeah, great memory and the first match went well and you can <laughs> see I think we need yeah. to bring back yeah. these <laughs> celebrations <laughs> Thank God my beard came and now you know things are much better Now the second highlight that we want you to take a look at is that match against the Gujarat Lions back in 2017 that was the first super over you ever bowled in the IPL now, you are playing in a side that has Lasit Malinga, but Rohit went to you for that super. What is the conversation before you came out to do this? So, uh, at this at this venue, I played on this venue quite a lot and you know, this is 2017. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was having a good year and I had a good game as well. So, the ball was reverse swinging a little bit and we felt that, you know, if I could execute my Yorkers and um, I had recently developed the slowing dipping Yorker so not many had uh, seen me uh, use that delivery so we thought that you know if I execute well uh, it will go well but initially the start was not great as you can see I bowled a no ball and I bowled a wide but I realized that uh, somehow I was not panicking and I never felt that they're going to hit me. I just felt that if I execute it right, there's no chance that they're going to hit me. Midway through this over, my column told me mid over that I can't hit you. I mean, <laughs> you're bowling really well. This was an up and down game and you know, we were able to pull out a win. That, this was, that was really special. The next spell we want you to take a look at is the 2019 final against who else but the yes, Chennai yes. Super Kings. A man of the match performance. A beard that has fully grown and <laughs> set in. Things were really going well for 2019, just Preet Bumra. So in this match, I didn't bowl a single Yorker, slower ball, nothing. I just kept on bowling hard length and bounces. That's all I needed. So then I realized going further as well in this phase, I realized that you don't have to do everything in one game. Mm. Or, you know, you have, you have so many skills, but you don't need to use them every time. So, you know, it was a seesaw battle. One over we were up, one over they were up, and at the end of the day we won. It was um, a really memorable final. I remember Malinga taking the last wicket of the last ball. 
so yeah fond memories and by this year the 19th over had become sort of your signature move um how much do you enjoy bowling in that pressure situation i didn't i don't know about the signature move but yes i feel very happy you when you when you play cricket you want to do the tough job you want to make an impact you don't want to hide behind anyone or you don't want to you know do the easy job so i i am no different i like that i like to do the tough job yes some days it will not go well and you have to accept it but when you can make a difference and you know you can change the momentum of the game towards your side there's no better feeling than that. so i look at it this way The next bowling spell that we're going to walk you through is the one that was played in 2020 the eliminator against the Delhi Capitals. As you can see I'm very happy in this scenario because you know few days not few days one or two days ago we had given you the ring and I had we had decided to get married. So yeah nobody knew that but uh, in this 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 year went really well for us we uh, dominated a lot in the tournament we we were ahead of the curve and we were doing really well so in this game um, i started uh, with the new ball and you know just the ball was coming out really well and there was some swing so yeah fond memories of this match it went really well and was happy to contribute the celebrations we are seeing have mellowed out a little there's no <laughs> enthusiastic i'll pop away in any minute type of uh, screaming happening but uh, there has been a range of celebrations that you have it's either this like it's your mistake you did what you did is that what it means no 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 <laughs> what does that mean <coughs> i don't know so i i used to uh, when i was a kid i used to be really fascinated by celebrations but um, you know brett lee's famous celebration of the chainsaw celebration i used to think that okay when i become a cricketer i'll do all of that but as in when i grew up i thought that i don't want to i i don't want to get ahead of myself yes i've done my job the batsman is out i don't need mm. to dance and sing but yes when uh, when i'm happy whatever comes out naturally it just comes i don't think about it i don't plan that this is how it should be but yeah that's how it's evolved over the years like here when you dismissed shreya sayer you gave him like a 4 second stare down what had happened he said something when you did you count the stare down did you see, can you see where i'm looking I could be happy and screaming because oh, I had no, no, there's playing. no happiness there. There is happiness behind Did that scream. Did he say something to you? <laughs> Nobody said <laughs> there's anything. There's no screaming. See? What is this? Yes, happiness. That's four seconds. That's happiness. No, it's not. So, no, he's playing really well and that was an important wicket at that time. So, yeah, there's nothing else other than that. But I've seen that face uh, at home when you Yeah, Deepa's you not yeah, doing yeah, it. No, no, no. That is the face when you give <laughs> when I make a mistake. Oh, you learned it from me. Yes. <laughs> Makes sense. So that's all the chat with this one. You went on to win pick that up final. Pick up four wickets. Yes. Pick up four wickets. Yes. Went on to win that final. Won the season. All because you decided that to give you the ring, and that was the best decision. So then, that's all you need. Thank you. You just <laughs> find the right girl, get married, <laughs> give her a great ring, and, and then the everything IPL falls into works. place. <laughs> <laughs> and the IPL just works out for you. Perfect. You got the answer. <laughs> this last one now this i was there I'll, correct i'll be there in the clip as well this is the 2022 uh, season game against the kolkata night riders at the dy patel stadium dismissing andre russell how much fun is it you using is as if i'm playing a video game and <laughs> easy or hard it's not <laughs> no, at all easy see everyone playing at this level is very very good and obviously a very dangerous player in this format can take the game away so you understand that phase is very important for the game so at that time you know that if you're not clear and you're searching for answers he'll probably do a lot of damage and take the uh, the advantage to his side did you think that you'd walk finish the evening with a five wicket haul you never you never if somebody says that he's gone with that intent and i'll do this i'll do that i'll score 100 yeah the celebration has it. has got <laughs> a lot better but no i was uh, going with a clear mind no no expectations yes going with a clear process that i'll back myself and see what happens but happy that you know i got my first try for here when you've got four wickets and you've still got a couple of overs more Is there a cheeky thought in your head saying yeah this might end up as a 5-4? Always uh, it it happens in every format of the game test match t20 when you take four wickets and you have some time you always think of a 5-4 but you don't want to be in a situation where you become too desperate and you think about all your you know individual glories you have to be still in the present what is the right ball for your team what is the right scenario to you know put your team first then your individual performance is second but yeah whenever you take four wickets and you have few overs you do think of a five 
Now there is a theory that Jaspreet Bumrah can breathe life into even the most dead wickets, uh, no matter how flat, even if they're as flat as the roads in Ahmedabad. <laughs> Everywhere the roads <laughs> are flat. You can deliver <laughs> the goods and make things happen. Is that true for you? Moving from the Ahmedabad question for me, but uh, my biggest. Um, you know, thing that that is there for me is uh, solving the problem. So uh, different questions come in the sense that people prepare for you. There are different wickets, different scenarios. How do you figure things out? Figuring things out is the biggest challenge that I enjoy. Yes, some days I do get wickets, some days I won't. I bowl a lot better than this, but I've not picked up wickets. So that is why you train, you practice all deliveries, you learn everything in cricket. That different scenarios, you have a lot of options, and then you can make an impact. So those were some of the greatest spells you've bowled so far, but you've still got so many more years in you and we hope that when we next do this interview again, <laughs> we can run you through six new... Yes, and we can have Angad with me and he can also have his anecdotes <laughs> about how I bowl. Yes, from now on all the highlights will have Angad in the Correct. audience. Correct, that's well. all that matters. Yes.